All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So after a grueling eight hour long stream on Monday that almost killed me, we are finally ready to showcase the brand new Prime Battle LR Krillin at Rainbow Status here on the global side of the game. Now you might think that I'm joking about the almost dying part, but I'm pretty damn serious, man, because I was losing my mind for a while there. Like by hour six, hour seven, hour eight, I was barely conscious, man. Like I don't even remember. I don't even remember the second half of that stream. So <laughs> it was pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. Probably never going to do that again. But at the end of the day, we did accomplish our mission, right? We did fully awaken the Krillin. We got him to SA20, rainbowed on the first day, which is something I've never done before for a Prime Battle LR. So I guess it was kind of worth it. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, if you guys weren't able to make that stream, but you are interested in just watching me suffer for a prolonged period of time, then uh, you can find a link to the stream archive somewhere above my head. Feel free to go check that out after you watch this video. So with all that said, let's take a look at what this Krillin is all about, starting with his details. If you guys already know, you know what his passive is, his leader skill, all that good stuff, then feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute and a half to two minutes, and we'll get into the gameplay. All right, so starting with his leader skill, he leads a brand new category called Earthlings, P plus four, HP, attack and defense plus 150%. So obviously that is an amazing leader skill for a free to play unit. But when you actually take a look at this Earthlings category, you'll quickly understand why he has such a good leader skill for them. Because Earthlings is probably one of, if not the worst category in the entire game. It's really bad, but it's not necessarily the worst still. It could still be better than Namekians and World Tournament, maybe? Not too sure about that, but it's definitely in the running. It's definitely in contention for worst category in the game. All right, moving on to his super attacks. He's got two, of course. The first one is uh, Scattering Energy Wave. That's the 12 key super, which raises attack and causes colossal damage to all enemies and has a medium chance to stun them. I believe medium chance is 30% or somewhere around that. And uh, this, of course, is a big reason why he's so good for... The world tournament specifically because he attacks all but he also has a chance to stun them and his passive of course also plays into that we'll get to, we'll get to that in a second but a uh, really good 12 key super right there 18 key super is the structo disc which raises attack and defense and causes mega colossal damage now this one is a single target attack but you're stacking attack and defense so in longer events like the legendary goku event he can become really, really tanky over the course of a couple of rounds, right? So those are the supers, and his passive is super long. Key plus three, attack, sorry, key plus three, defense, plus 30,000, attack plus 20,000 when performing a super attack, plus an additional 20,000 attack when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus three when facing only one enemy, and then attack plus 10,000 at the start of the turn per existing enemy when facing two or more enemies and the count starts from the second enemy and finally uh, launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. So I know that's a lot to take in, a little bit confusing, but all you have to know is that this dude was made for the world tournament. He gets a ton of extra attack when you're facing multiple enemies and uh, he also launches an additional guaranteed super when you're facing six or more enemies, which of course is a full team in the world tournament. But even against a single target, like one enemy, uh, he still does pretty well because the uh, ultra super gives him an additional 40,000 attack and also you get uh, key plus three. So he can basically be used in every mode, but I do think world tournament is where he really, really shines. His links are Z Fighters, Turtle School, Courage, Best Buddies, Rebel Duo, Shadow the Limit, and legendary power and he has two categories earthlings and full power so there you go guys those are all the details for the lr krillin we are running a full power team because like i said earthlings is really bad i mean he does synergize a little bit better as far as links go on earthlings but uh the extra leader skill from the fizz broly makes up for that in my opinion okay so first turn he's linked with the 
Uh, Golden Cooler, who I believe shares two links with him. It's... Hold up, let me check the defense. Okay, so 88,795 defense to start. Not bad. And he does stack, of course, every single time. Use that 18 key super. So yeah, like I said, I think they share two links. Uh, rival duo, as well as shattering the limit. So yeah, first turn, without even trying, we're getting a 22 key super. So if you guys were concerned about the fact that like you might not be able to get that 18 key super consistently, uh, you can put those worries to rest because he does 18 key super very, very often. So almost every single turn, for the most part, unless you get like really unlucky and you get a really bad board, most of the time he will be able to launch the ultra super and uh, raise his defense with that ultra super. Okay, so first attack, I think we were about like one point, what was it, 1.6 mil? Not the most impressive, but not bad. Not the most impressive, but not bad. And like I said, I don't even think that this or any like single enemy mode is necessarily his best mode, right? Because I think World Tournament is really like where he stands out. But unfortunately, we don't have a World Tournament on Global right now. But I do think that we should be getting one soon. All right, because we have this guy who just came out and we also most likely will be getting the LR Vegeta and Nappa for part two of the current celebration. Now, of course, this is all speculation. I could be wrong about that. So don't necessarily take it as like as fact if I'm wrong. But I do think we're going to get Vegeta and Nappa. And since we just got the LR Krillin, I think a world tournament on Global for part two of the current celebration is, is very, very likely. All right, so we just supered one time and we have 106,000 defense now up from 88k before so about a 20,000 increase and we're only on the second appearance so near the end of this event man when we're at like the ui goku mui Go goku i think he should be close to like 250 to 300,000 depending on how many times we super and that's that's gonna make him quite tanky like he might actually be tanking the uh, STR UI attacks, like at least the normal attacks for double digits. I think supers are still gonna hurt a lot, right? If we get supered by the STR UI, it's still gonna do a lot of damage, but normal attacks shouldn't hurt us that much, which is really good, right? Because that dude hits really hard. So here we go. Uh, second attack, I think the super was up to 1.8 mil, and the additional 12k super was about a million. So in total, we're looking at like almost 3 million attack there. Once again, his damage is not going to blow anybody away. But uh, I think his defense is like really, really impressive. Like I did not expect him to be as defensively, like as, as tanky as uh, he ended up being when I was like testing him out myself off camera. And you guys will see, man, as we go through this video, as we you know do more super, stack up more defense, uh, he's a really, really good defensive unit. But his, his attack is like not too bad either. Like we're still getting close to 2 million on the second super. It's just, if you compare it to a lot of like summonable units, like especially summonable LRs who do stupid amounts of damage, yeah, it's not that impressive. But I do think actually, I thought about this. Oh my God, Turles, why? I hate when this guy, I hate when this guy does this, man. Why does he have to eat the fruit? Why does he have to eat the fruit? This would have been a great turn for him to support us with that 40%, but instead, this man has to eat fruit and uh, give himself that extra boost. But, man, yo, I, I don't know if this is like a popular opinion or not, but... Okay, look, we, we can still get the 18 key super, so we're good. But, um, I think that Turles would actually be a better unit overall if he didn't have the transformation. Alright? I think if he just stayed in his regular, like, base form, you know, with the key plus four, key plus three, uh, attack and defense plus, wait, is it attack and defense? It's just attack, right? Attack plus 40%. Um, he would just be better, man. Like, I hate when he does this, especially in showcases, but even in like off camera, just events where I'm using him specifically to be a support and then he eats fruit and stops supporting. He's like worthless to me, man. I mean, not worthless, but like, I just, I, I don't care. He doesn't hit that hard anyways, even when he transforms. <sighs> Alright. Um, wow, we are actually pretty low on HP. I don't want to necessarily use an item this early. It's a little bit sad. But you guys saw, it wasn't Krillin's fault. 
All right, it wasn't Krillin's fault that we're this low on HP. That, that's all Terrorless, and also Kalk and Goku. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, what is that? What did I want to talk about? Oh, I mean, of course, like I said, no World Tournament on Global right now, but once we get a World Tournament, and uh, we get a chance to actually use the Krillin, running a full power team, which already had the Fizz Broly, as well as the STR Broly, now you add Krillin onto that team, uh, just imagine how much destruction that team is gonna do, man. Like, those AI enemy teams don't stand a chance. It don't stand a chance. Like, you got three just killers on that team. Three attack all killers on that team. And I can't wait. Like, I'm so excited. I don't remember the last time I was this excited for a... Is that Ultra, is that Ultra Super? Yes, it is. Perfect. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I was this excited for a World Tournament, man. Because usually, I hate World Tournaments. You guys know this. Like, I can't stand World Tournaments. They're just so boring. It, that The mode is just so dead to me. And um, there's nothing I'd rather do less than a world tournament. But this time around, it's different. We got the Krillin. I just really, really want to test him out, guys. Like, I, I can't wait to see just, like, how good he is. He gets an additional guaranteed super, just like the STR. Really, oh, this might hurt. Uh, oh, 86k? You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, of course, you know, normal attack still doing double digits, digits, but we're not at a point where, like, we have enough defense to effectively tank super attacks so the fact we took 86k there yes it is a good amount of damage but it's also not crazy like i, I can i can take that i can live with that wait hold up it's broly oh we're good okay <laughs> yeah i did not want to die this early in the showcase but once again let me just be clear the fact that we're this low on hp is not krillin's fault it's the the rest of the team i mean if I tried really hard, maybe I could actually beat the event with this team. But that's not the purpose of the showcase. Usually when I do these showcases, I don't really intend to beat the event. It's happened a couple times, but like, mostly by accident, really. Like, there was that one Biz Vegito Blue Showcase, where I actually beat the Legendary Goku event with like two supports um, in rotation. And that was just because Fizz Vegito Blue was a monster. But I don't think that's going to happen today. Okay, so now we're back with the Golden Cooler, and we're up to 159,000 defense with Cooler. Um, is Goku tanky yet? Uh, only 68,000. So of course the Kaioken Goku also ta also stacks, but he stacks a lot slower. You guys who, who have used him might have noticed that this dude, even though he builds defense with every super, it takes, a, it takes him a really long time to actually build up enough defense. So you can see like... I mean, basically, Krillin and Kalkan Goku have been supering, you know, the same amount, and Krillin is up to 159,000, Kalkan Goku only up to 68,000. So I don't really trust him there. I'm gonna put uh, Krillin in front of those attacks, let him, you know, do his thing. Is that a full 24 key super? Our first full 24 key super. Perfect. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's uh, get over 2 million. I'm hoping for over 2 million for the attack. Now we've got a token attack too. Sick. All right. So tanking, the God Ku's attacks were double digits now. Let me focus on this token attack, get it perfect. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I missed one. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, sorry guys. Either way, 2.1 mil. All right, we're, we're breaking the 2 million uh, attack barrier, the 2 million attack mark. And please crit. Ah, okay, 1.5 mil. All right, this is a super, this, could be tough. Godku hits really hard. 100k. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yo, Godku super for 100k is actually fantastic. I mean, is he Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta? No, he's not Golden Cooler or, or a Golden Frieza. He's not on that level of tankiness, but those guys are like known as tanks, right? Like th that's what their role is. That's what the units are made for. Uh, the fact that Krillin you know, at this point, it is taking still taking normals for for double digits, still taking supers for a reasonable, very very reasonable amount of damage, is uh, just fine with me. You know, like I'm I'm happy with that. Um, but once you get to, I mean, the hard part is going to be getting over the STR UI Goku. But once you get past that stage, and you get to the the MUI Goku, the Int one, 
Goku's or not Goku, Krillin is gonna be clapping some cheeks, man. He's gonna annihilate MUI Goku. I don't think I'll be able to show you guys that, but trust me. All right, he destroys MUI Goku. It's not even funny. It's actually kind of sad. Just how much destruction Krillin lays down on mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh, by the way, if you guys, I mean, I, I guess nobody has noticed. I'm the only per person that probably has noticed, but. The gameplay, like the colors, look a little bit different than normal, all right? And that's because I switched over to a different recording method. Uh, before, I used to mirror my phone with like a app. It was called A-Power Mirror, but I was having a lot of like connection issues. It was like super, super, uh, what's the word? Choppy, like every once in a while, it would get really choppy, really laggy. And oh, finally. Oh, wait. Oh. No, I, I, I thought I thought Turles had like turned back to to supporting, but no, he already reverted. Now he 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 transformed again. Why is Turles being such a dick in this video, man? <laughs> why is why is he doing this to me? We would have like 180k defense right now or something like that if Turles was supporting. So yeah, Turles is not cooperating with us. Um, it's very unfortunate, but. Uh, I think that's that's I mean enough for you guys to see just like how much of a beast Krillin is anyways. So we're probably gonna die here. I think Turles is gonna get us killed. But um this is probably gonna do around 100 k again. It would have done less if Turles wasn't such a you know douche, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh oh one last thing I wanna say. One last thing I wanna say is that Oh no, I was already talking about something. Yeah, so the recording method, basically I used to do the screen mirroring and then um, now I switched over to using like a direct connection, you know, like uh, I got like this little, what do you call it, adapter from the Apple store. Super, super expensive by the way. I don't recommend buying this one. It was like $80 Canadian or like 75 or something like that. You can probably get one on Amazon for like 20, but I wanted to get like the legit one because I've had some issues with like the Amazon connector ones, but but still, dude, uh, it's just so expensive. I don't recommend it, but look, it's, it's giving me a lot smoother gameplay, which I'm happy with. Let me know if you guys have noticed any difference in the quality or the frame rate or just the general like stableness, the smoothness, right? And uh, yeah. Everything looks a little bit different, but I think it looks better. I just noticed the colors are like a little bit different. Like it's a little bit more red in general than it used to be. It doesn't bother me that much, but it is just, it's different. Okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> beyond that random side, no, that random tangent, that is today's showcase for the LR Prime Battle Krillin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I love this guy, man. I think he's a beast. I can't wait to run him on my full power team for World Tournament. Uh, we are gonna annihilate everything. And, I mean, we already did with the other Brolies, but Krillin's gonna help, like, make things even faster than they already were. And, uh, I do think, honestly, he is the best Prime Battle LR, which kind of makes sense because he is the newest one, but I think he's better than, than Vegeta. I think he's better than Trunks. Obviously better than Riza and Goku. I think he's also better than Cell, although Cell's really good too, but I do think Krillin is better than Cell. Like, I, I just think he's the best. I, I think he's the best. I love him. So I'm so glad I got him done. Don't have to worry about farming him anymore. Legendary campaign couldn't come any faster. Uh, and that's it, guys. That is today's stream, or not stream, video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the LR Krillin. I do recommend everybody to finish him get him done at some point before the event goes into the regular rotation don't be like me don't do it in one day but you know just get him done over the course of like the next couple of weeks do like 50 medals a day or something like that and you will get him done uh sooner than later all right so that's it guys that is it that's that's all i gotta say thank you very much for watching once again as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. 
signing out.